Hi YouTube, this is the third video of my three-part series on the 95OX and this is about using the machine as a dumb terminal with a Linux machine and also for using it to browse the internet and to back up data to a, another computer. Instead of using standard Datacom terminal, I'm using MS Kermit, an old version 2.29 that's quite small and works well on the machine and the advantage of using MS Kermit versus Datacom is the display refresh rates much much faster so you see text displayed a lot quicker on the display plus it's also quite easy to transfer files through the surprising Kermit protocol okay so the first thing I'll do here is open up the Kermit program it's also MDA as you might have guessed and you see all the different features here. I have it set up to be 9600 baud and I have it connected through a USB serial adapter there connected to the 95LX cable and then this little wonderful uh, router here that runs OpenWRT Linux and I have connected to my local um, wireless LAN. This runs OpenWRT and I've compiled a ton of packages for it. I'll mainly be using it for web browsing and for backing up files. And the first thing I'll do is, is to connect to the machine. So I press C for connect. And then when I press enter I get this login prompt. I'll use the HP 95LX user. Okay, and then you can see the opening screen. I can pan around so you see all of it. Open WRT Wireless Freedom. And my home directory, I can use nano. All the reverse video works works right. It's, it's really great. I can do um, HTOP. Yeah, see what tasks are running and scroll through there slowly. The router has 32 megs of RAM and runs on MIPS processor. It's just nice to have this little battery powered router Linux machine both for charging other computers and to set up as a Wi-Fi bridge and stream movies and so on. But in terms of 95LX it's, it's nice to pair it with the 95LX and use that as a dumb terminal and back up things from the 95LX to this and so on. So what I'll do real quick here is try some web browsing. So I have Lynx, the text-based web browser, only HTTP compatible, unfortunately not HTTPS, compiled for the MIPS processor on this router. And I can go to Google and I'll allow the cookies. And you can do web browsing on your 30-year-old computer. Oops, I'll go back. There you go. Okay, Google. So, um, scroll down to the text bar here. It's pretty nice to have that reverse video. It's necessary to have it. I can Google HP95LX. Google search. Okay. I go down, I think I can do page down, space, oh, space, okay, HP 95LX, Wikipedia, old computers, eBay, virtual museum, and just by pressing the space key I can browse through those search results, let's see if I can go here, I might Okay, so that's HTTPS, so that's not going to work. I, I do have a, a proxy I use, that's HTTP, so I can go from HTTPS links back to HTTP and it works in this browser. That's showing you even in this 40 by 16 display you can do basic web browsing, which is really delightful with a machine this old. I'll quit real quick. Now I'll show you how I can receive files. I have gkermit installed here. Okay, and you'll see the options there. And I'm going to try receiving one file from the data directory. Okay, the test file I wrote in a previous video. 
So I set up gkermit, um, gkermit-r, it's ready to receive. I'll do control shift 8 to go back to the menu. Now I'll do send a colon slash colon slash um, data slash test dot txt. And it sent it and there's this nice beep to tell you that the transmission was completed. Now if I press C again to go back into my dumb terminal window, I should be able to find that file. So I'll do dir, oh, oops, ls, cat test.txt. And that's what I wrote in a previous video when I had demonstrated Vim. It's wonderful to have this. My um, router here has a 4 gig SD card. You, can, you can't really see it there, but you can see there's an SD card slot. And I can back up all my games and writing and whatever else from the Night 5 OX. Imagine you have this on the road. Maybe you have some spreadsheets or some diaries from different years or journal articles or other things you write up on your Night 5 OX. And just in a blink of an eye, you can back it up to your router. That's a couple of nice features of MS Kermit. You can use it as a nice VT-102 emulator and use it to connect to a Linux machine and you can back files up right in the midst of your terminal emulation and your Linux console. For some more technical details, I'm planning to make a video just on this router. Essentially, it's set up in its boot scripts to run Getty instances that pass a Linux console over USB serial ports, TTY, USB, zero, and it actually runs up to three, so I can call it a tiny, tiny mainframe in a way, and I have multiple 95LXs I can use as dumb terminals. It's, it's just wonderful, though, with MS Kermit, you can use the 95LX, this nearly 30-year-old machine, for modern tasks, tasks like internet browsing and even sending tweets. And I'll hope to have a demo of that in the upcoming Vintage Computing Festival Southeast this coming year. I tried this past year and had some difficulties. Well, that said, I appreciate you watching all these videos. Please subscribe, write your questions in the comments section or other thoughts you have. I'd love to hear back from all of you. And I hope you've enjoyed these videos, gotten something out of this, and it's inspired you to dig up your old palm tops and do something new with them. Thank you all for watching. Tune in again soon.